Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to go over how I created a bit more immersion just in the way I set up the YAML on the character pages and how it references and pulls from other areas within my vault. And the first thing I want to touch on is character linking between an individual character. In our case, we're going to use the Duke and the overall narrative, which I am creating chapters. So I'm going to show how an individual character here can link to a chapter, the overall narrative that you're telling. So what we are looking at here is this is the Duke's character note page. And every character note page that I have for each character is set up the same way, regardless of who it is. Um, I have their overview right here. I have their biography, their appearances, and their role in Disgraceland. So for our instance, we're going to take a look at appearances. And for the Duke, he appears in the following chapters, 2 through uh, 11. And we're going we're gonna to take a look at chapter 11 in a second. But these are just uh, different sections of his page, uh, of the Duke's main note page here. So if I click on appearances, it'll bring us down lower on the page below the biography and everything we have here to uh, the actual list of appearances. And then if we take a look at chapter 11, um, as an example, uh, he, where is he? Here he is. The Duke appears on the main cast list for uh, chapter 11. And then let's quickly jump back over to the Duke's main page here, and we're going to go into edit mode, and we are going to take a look at his YAML. We're going to specifically look at chapters. I have a category here for chapters within the YAML. And the way I have this set up, and all you need to do is I'll close all these notes, and I'm going to open up the actual chapters. So all this is is the title of the note. So whatever I save the note as, O2 dash ghosts in the way on the waves is what I put under the chapters uh, category here in the YAML. So whatever the title of your chapter note is, put that in literally put the title of the note in the chapters category within your YAML. And then I am going to go down this page to nearly the bottom. The Duke has a pretty big biography and everything else. And we're going to take a look at the appearances section here. Um, so the way this is built out is a data view query. I have not switched it all over to bases yet. I'll leave that for another video. Um, but for right now, this is built out as a data view query. And for the Duke and every other character, we are pulling the list from the Disgraceland folder right here, which is where I'm keeping all of my chapters. So we're pulling from the Disgraceland folder, we are, where contains chapters, this.chapters, which means the, let me zoom out here, sorry, which means the uh, list of chapters in the YAML that we created. This is what that data view query is referencing, this right here. So the chapters, uh, YAML at the top that we just looked at, and the file name of the chapter that the Duke appears in. So if that word salad didn't make any sense to you, where contains this dot chapters means the chapters in the YAML that we just looked at. It is showing us the file name of the chapters that the Dukes appears in. And the sort order is just the, whatever time I created the chapter in an ascending order to keep it in a nice uh, chronological list just like this. Okay, and that is adding um, chapters and narrative to the actual note page of the character. So jumping into a chapter, we are going to do the reverse. We are going to add the character into the chapter. So we'll continue to use the Duke as a reference. So we're going to quickly jump back into his character note here. I'm going to go into edit and we are going to take another look at his YAML and we're going to go down to the tags and the tags are a bit of a mishmash of stuff, but you'll notice that the chapters are listed as tags. And you can call these whatever you want. These do not need to be the name of the note. You just need to reference it properly for better organization and things. So I just have chapter 02, 09, 10, B-side 5, and chapter 11. Um, I'm going to continue to use chapter 11 as our example here. So I will get out of edit mode. I will go into chapter 11, and I will go back into edit mode. And we will take a look at the main cast here. So this is a data cards uh, plugin setup. It's a sister plugin to data view. It works 
uh, very similar. I have made a video already going over it. I will put it up in the corner for you to take a look at if you need a review on it. But um, so this is set up by pulling from every character that has a tag chapter 11 or chapter whatever you put to reference that chapter. So every character that has that as one of their tags will show up in the main cast list. And I don't know why I'm zooming in. Will show up in the main cast list right here. And jumping back into the Duke here, going back into edit mode, chapters references the chapters on the individual note page for the character. And whatever you have listed in the tags is what is pulling on the chapter pages. And after those two things have been set up, we have um, a nice little list of appearances that the Duke has appeared in. And we have the Duke appearing in the main cast list on chapter 11. And as you continue on, as you continue to keep building out your narrative and your story, all you do is just add them as you go. Add the title of your note to the chapters, create a tag that references the chapter or story or whatever you have created. Uh, just create a tag that references that and be sure to pull from those two things. And if you continue to do that as you build, which is the most important thing in Obsidian, is just continue to keep things organized as you go, because it'll make your life a lot easier. But if you continue to do that, this list will keep growing and growing, and um, the, the actual chapters have a very nice visual look to them. And that's about it for today. I just wanted to go over that because it can be a little confusing, a little cumbersome and difficult to organize all that and keep it straight in your head. So I hope that's clear. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am Mark with Pratt Design and we'll see you down the road.